Okay, that's illegal right there. What's the problem? It looks like a a huge rock, dude. Just smash this. Oh yeah. You see that? Yeah. You see that, dude? Yeah, that's dented. Maybe you should have put these parts on two years ago. Oh, All right. No. So we're <laughs> we're back. Why not work on this 1000? We never finished last time because we got too tired because we're grown adults with full-time jobs. Um, so, and we're pretty tired now. We, we really don't even want to put these parts on, but we want to finish this video for you guys. Keep right. you entertained. I'm also afraid of just dropping Tyler's bike moving around in my garage. And at least if it has frame sliders, then I don't have to worry about fixing the expensive BMW parents. Appreciate that. Yeah. But, yeah. So yeah, let's get the crash protection on, frame sliders, axles, you know, all that good stuff. And then maybe we'll do the rad guard. I don't know. We'll see how we feel. The rad guard is not for this bike. No, that's the oil cooler guard. Nope. <laughs> Ragnarok. I gotta get my rack em. Asgard for my Asgardian Ragnarok. Rack them. Rack them. Rack 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 them. Rack R.I.P. Rack em Willie. Rack em Willie. All right. So we're going to do this 1000. We want to do, do, do first. Did you get all the shkim diddies? Yeah. What's up, squids? Quick reminder, my Etsy shop is now open. Go to professionalsquid.etsy.com and check out all of my awesome apparel. We have the shirt I'm wearing here, professional squid on the front, anti-squid squid club on the back. This is the purple and green variant. We have hoodies just like this one. We have the anti-squid squid Squid club in the white on this hoodie. And then we have tons of different t-shirts. This one says, mom said I can't speed. It's one of my personal favorites. So go check them out. There's tons of options to choose from. Everything is super soft and comfortable and supplies are limited. So get them while they're hot. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so we just went to Home Depot and we got a couple uh, pipes and we built these ourselves. Um, <laughs> Looks like we got them from Evo Tech. So we'll see what these do. These look like musical instruments that are gonna protect my bike. It's like that toy when you have it as a kid and it's like, you know? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? So let's let's get them on. All right, let's do it. All right, so which one's which? Uh, they are both, this different. one's for the front. <laughs> they are different. This one's shorter, this one's for the front. Are you sure? Honest. Well. Yeah, I could agree. Would you agree to disagree or disagree to agree? I agree to agree. You agree to agree? Yeah, right. I think that's the one. So, so we'll do the front first. All right, we'll it's do the front. It's always better in the front, and then you can dip into the back. Oh, hey, yo. Oh, that's easy. Pretty simple. It's just a, they just, they a just, nut. You just, you just nut. It. You put it in the front, and you nut. Yeah, yeah. No, you nut, and then you put it in the front. Just be careful. Oh, okay. So they just slide right through here? Yeah, oh, basically. Shit. <laughs> Dad? Just be careful, there's a little washer on the inside. Yeah, don't, don't lose it. You don't want to fucking lose that, dude. Oh my god, he scratched it. Oh, shit. He scratched it. Shit. Return him. Can you do me a favor? Yes. Can you, can you tilt the bike? You want to put it on the stand? Oh wait, you can't because we didn't do the axle spools yet. The freaking axle spools. We didn't do the axle spools yet, man. We didn't man. do the axle spools. I actually need a, a bit of a hand here. I you need foot. some tools? Not my foot. Ooh, look at that headlight. Alright, I'll get it. On there, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so these are like really simple. I mean, essentially, it's just a, a nut and a washer, right, on so both sides. It's like a like a plug and play. It's pretty simple. You, you literally just put the rod through. And these are the Evo Tech ones, right? These are Evo Tech. These are Evo. Is this a Lancer Evo? This a Lancer a, Evo? This is an Alet. No, no, you have to switch. You did you did the wrong way. That side goes on this one because it's got, see the, yeah. Yep, right, see? Gotcha. It's got this like little flange thing here. I'm flanged. So it's got to fit in there. Good eye, Hubbard. Uh, 
Hubble telescope. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Nope. You know I gave you tools to make your life easier. Those tools. BMW riders. Would you, you like a that? stool? Can you hold that? Come here. I just need you to hold the... You're pushing the thing in. Oh. My just bad. hold the, yeah, yeah. the washer? No, just hold the black piece. That's it. I've got the washer will stay in by itself. Alright, so then from Evo Tech, we got the rear uh, spools. This isn't a Harbor Freight wrench. Oh wait, it is. Look at them spools. BMW. Got them on this side. All right now. Oh, now we're gonna do the frame sliders. We're gonna slip and slide. And they literally just go right there. Right here, right? Yeah, I think so. And. No, bro, you're fucking here. Nope, not there. Oh, then I lied. Then we have to take out this. And... Ah, serious, dude? Yeah. Ah, I think we gotta take out that bolt and it replaces ah, it. Ah, serious? I think I'm serious. Are you breaking it free or no? Is it really tight? Yeah. Now we know we gotta get it super tight. We gotta take out the frame bolt. That's gonna get replaced with the bolt for the frame slider. And those on there are quite tight. Yeah, they're maybe, usually pretty snug. Maybe we should put some... Do you want a power tight? tool so you don't have to like... I feel more one with the bike when I do this, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm really, like, back in the 1920s. Yeah. Really working on yeah, my Yeah, really machine. back on the 1920s with this electronic BMW. That's what I'm saying. All right, check. Is it the same size as that bolt for the slider? Oh, give it a little blow. You got to clean it out, you know? Yeah. Get in there. All right, let's check. Is the bolt the same size as the one you just took out? Compare and contrast. Just pick up the bolt. Yeah. Yeah? Is there a Loctite on this one? I didn't see any. Alright, so then you're good, you know. A Loctite. Let me get you the right Allen size for that. I have it. No, that's a Torx. Oh, they changed it? Yeah, we need Allen. They changed it, dude! We're going to Allen's. Like it's these like freaking things. <laughs> the frame sliders are on. This one goes in this hole, and this one goes here. I mean, as long as it sticks out farther than the bike. Oops. <laughs> I'm like fucking freaking out. That thing is like slightly sticking out. When that side is clearly protecting the bike. Swap them and see if it sits better. They're like slightly different, and it said the longer one goes on the left hand side. Right? I did, say the right. Right <laughs> did it say the right side? <laughs> I'm switching it for peace of mind. Let's see. It says the short one goes on the left hand side, and the long one goes on the right hand side. That's what we did. I'm pretty sure this is right. Well, you could try it. All right, so we got everything sorted with the frame sliders. They actually are different on each side. So you wanna make sure you put the correct one on the correct side so that it protects <laughs> so that it protects the plastic here. So you, you gotta make sure that this sticks out farther. Oh, you didn't tighten this one, Tyler. You gotta tighten that one. The weighted bar ends now. So the factory S1000 bar ends are not that heavy. And 
you do get some vibration, right, Tyler? Oh, yeah. And the handlebar. So that is one thing I noticed when I rode his bike from switching from the ZX-10. So we're putting a nice weighted EvoTech bar end in to reduce vibration. So, whoa. Hopefully, uh, I'll notice a difference. I mean, you could feel the weight difference just holding them, like, in your hand. These are weighted, but just not that much. Those are definitely heavier. This is like, if you fucking threw this at somebody's head... <laughs> take them out. See you later. It's cager protection right there. So now we have the front radiator guard, and we have these little rubber bushing things. You have to put those in the holes on the radiator guard, so it creates a nice little barrier between the guard and the actual radiator. There's little holes right here that you'll see that are different. Yeah. These are circular. Oh, it's not focusing. My hand behind it, maybe. So there's a hole. See this hole right here? It's round, where the other ones are hexagons. So it goes in those. So basically, we have to remove this whole belly pan area. So this whole, like, under part. We were worried that we were going to have to remove the sliders, but thankfully, they're not in the way. We just got to take out a bunch of bolts here, move this out of the way, and then put the guards on. All right, so to give you guys a recap of what we just did. Uh, basically we did bar ends, they're weighted. We did frame sliders down here. We did front axle sliders. We did rear axle sliders. And we also did the, are these stand bobbins, whatever you want to call them. Um, and so now we can put the bike on a stand. And then in addition to doing all the crash protection stuff, we also did a radiator guard and an oil cooler guard. So if you take a look here, uh, we didn't really show the insulation because there's a lot of different parts to it. You have to remove all the plastics, it's a lot, and I didn't want to just do a how-to video. Um, but yeah, we got the EvoTech rad guard, so a lot of EvoTech parts on the bike. We are going to remove these because they are ugly. So Tyler wants to take the reflectors off, try to clean up the bike a little bit, and then uh, maybe one day he'll decide to get rid of these ugly mirrors too. So, um, Maybe I'll decide to get a 23 instead. Or, or that. <laughs> um, he asked me how to take the bike off the stand if you're by yourself. So here is what I personally do. So bike's on the stand. We want to get it back on the kickstand. So put the kickstand down and then I take a piece of wood. So the 890 is on this piece of wood now. I'll take this piece of wood, just put it right here. And then I just take the stand. I like to hold the rear seat. The ZX10 has a little handle I can grab here. This one doesn't, but you can kind of just hold the seat and then you just lift it up. And as you're lifting it up and it's coming down, you just tilt it over and throw it on the wood. If you put the wood block there, it's not so hard of a drop over when you take the bike off the stand. So. That's how I like to do it. And then it's the same for putting the bike back on the stand. So if it's on the wood, you put it there first and you just line up the stand. And it's gonna be a little off on one side, but you just tilt the bike over a little bit and it'll line up. See? Noise. There you go. Just don't drop it. <laughs> but if you do drop it, at least we have the sliders. So. That's right. So Tyler wants to take the reflectors off his S1000 because frankly, they're ugly. But bikes are required to come with them. So on the S1000, they are just attached with adhesive. It's pretty easy, it doesn't leave any holes. So here's how you remove them. You just need a heat gun or a hair dryer and a piece of string or fishing line, something like that. So, and it's pretty simple. It's November, so it's cold. We're gonna warm up the reflector. We're gonna take our heat gun, warm it up, make sure not to burn yourself and make sure not to burn the decals or the plastic. Just heat it up nicely so that the adhesive becomes soft. I actually like to put my fingers kind of here so I can gauge the temperature. But don't burn yourself. She's nice and warmed up. Now we're gonna take our string kite string in this case because I don't have fishing line and we are literally just going to take it wrap it around your fingers and squeeze it here and you can kind of just saw back and forth and it'll cut right through the adhesive and it falls right off that's how easy it is then you take a microfiber and a little goo gone wipe it up and you can 
you know, just remove all that stuff. So we'll just clean it up nice and then you can buff it, polish it, whatever. But nobody will ever know that you took it off your bike. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Peace.